Blink twice. That just hit theaters. This is the directorial debut from Zoe Kravitz, who also is a co-writer in this movie, but she's not actually acting in the film. The film stars uh, Naomi Aki as Farida, someone who's kind of stuck in her life, has nothing really going on, and she needs something to spark her interest. And along the way, she uh, watches videos of a famous billionaire who's trying to regain his form after a scandal. Slater, played by Channing Tatum, accidentally they meet at a gala and Slater takes on Frida, likes her in a way, and wants to take her back to his mansion on an island, on a private island, uh, with a bunch of his friends. Along the road, Jess, played by Alelia Shawcat, hopefully I'm saying her name right, is Frida's roommate and best friend who also tags along. Also on this private island with those three characters, you have Vic, played by Christian Slater, Cody, played by Simon Rex, Sarah, played by Adria Arjona, Tom, played by Haley Joel Osment, uh, Lucas, played by LaVon Hawk, um, among others as well. You also have Kyle McLaughlin as Rich, Slater's uh, therapist, and Stacy, played by Gina Davis, who is Slater's assistant. The film is an hour and 43 minutes and is rated R. Welcome back to a brand new review here on Max Talks Movies. My name is Max Dinnerberg. We're talking about Blink twice here on the channel. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring that bell. I talk all things movies, TV shows. I do movie franchise rankings, a box office show every single Tuesday, as well as out of theater reactions. So please subscribe, ring the bell. If you're new, comment down below. First of all, have you seen Blink twice? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, do you think Zoe Kravitz has a future in Hollywood as a filmmaker? Let me know in the comment section. Also, are you going to check it out or is this one you want to wait to see when it comes out on digital? Also, please like the video, everyone. The thumbs up button down below really helps the YouTube algorithm out. Get me out to more people. So let's, let's get to 250 subscribers and like that video and hit that subscribe button. So I was very excited for the movie, but also you do have to be skeptical with anyone's directorial debut. You do have to be kind of nervous if the person has it. Um, so I was very interested, but also skeptical in how this movie would turn out. So let's get into my thoughts. And um, again, if you've seen my out of theory reaction, uh, this is be a longer version of that, but watching this movie, this is another movie that I knew watching it was not going to be for everyone, especially the last 15 to 20 minutes. And um, for me, I am probably going to be much higher than most people. I thoroughly enjoyed Link Twice. Um, yes, this movie definitely has some very familiar tropes and the plot is not some mind-blowing original thing of a rich person taking friends to a private island secluded where there's no other people there and obviously you think something is off and you've seen this plot before but I think the movie does a really good job from a tone perspective absolutely nailing it I'm going to get to the three main performances in a second but Zoe Kravitz deserves a lot of credit this is a really strong directorial debut because this movie is trying to balance a lot of things which is that you, right away you think something is off something is not right with what is going on, but you can't really pinpoint it. And from a directing perspective and from a writing perspective, the movie does a really good job with tension, intensity. You're kind of on the edge of your seat wondering what really is going on. The movie also has a lot of dark humor that I really enjoyed. I was laughing a good amount during this movie, but again, I like dark humor. I know that's not a type of humor that's for everyone, but I thoroughly enjoyed dark the dark humor in this movie. But Zoe Kravitz, the way she moves the camera around is very disorienting because, again, you're supposed to feel like somewhat off about what is going on. And yes, does the character start to feel like something is off? Yes, but really the direction makes you really feel like something is not right with what's going on here on this island. And a ton of credit for Zoe Kravitz, who should get a lot more opportunities from it, hopefully as a director, because she is put on a full display from the director's chair. Now, on screen, there are three really pivotal performances and they're all fantastic. Uh, Naomi Aki, this is her movie from start to finish and um, she is phenomenal in this movie. She's very relatable. She feels like an everyday person thrown into this situation, uh, but she does a really good job both buying what actually is going on, uh, buying what is going on in the movie and then trying to uncover things. Um, but she's very strong in this film. Uh, Audrey Arjona becomes like the MVP of the last, 
I would say hour or so of the film. She's phenomenal in this movie. And I've been saying this for a very long time about her. Uh, she is one of the actresses I think to watch. Um, as you've seen in the trailer, she starts to also pick up some things and her chemistry with Aki uh, is very good in the movie. And Arjona is just must watch in my opinion. She's so good in this movie. But the, the real shocker for me is that I am one of the biggest Channing Tatum fans. And I think if you know that you've been watching the channel, this is his best performance of his career. And I, even though I love Channing Tatum, especially even when he does some serious work, some points, you just can't believe that this is really Channing Tatum pulling off some of what he does from a performance perspective. Um, he is the rich billionaire who buys his private island, but he does a really good job. Both, obviously, he's um, very charming. You can understand why people would be sucked into wanting to be a part of Slater's life. And that comes to have Tatum from his other roles, but he adds a new dimension that we've never seen out of his entire career. The real darkness, the real psychotic nature of this character really comes through in the last like 30 to 45 minutes. And Tatum, this is easily for me, his best performance of his career. So if you're a big fan of him and you've been wanting to see him do something a little bit different from what he usually does, I highly recommend um, checking this movie out. So those three performances, overall the ensemble, there's no weak performance in the entire movie. Everyone's having a really good time. Where The island and the way it's shot, it's so beautiful. Um, again, they reel you in just as much as they reel in Frida and Jess in the beginning of the movie. And that's a really good job from Kravitz. The score is very well done. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Now, there is one major complaint that I do have with the movie that holds it back for me from being in my top five movies of the year. And for me, the there is a lot of messaging and Kravitz is trying to tackle multiple different messages. And I'm all for that. But the problem is the movie is very heavy handed as it pertains to its messaging to a point where characters have to monologue to tell the audience what the movie's trying to be about. And um, it wasn't as offensive as I see other movies do it. As a, a, Not offensive meaning the messaging's offensive. I mean, the way the movie, from a script perspective, handles the messaging. Um, I just wish it was more subtle. I think the first two, really the first half of the movie does a really good job being subtle. But as things are uncovered, the messaging becomes way too heavy handed. And I wish from a writing perspective, um, both co -write, uh, the co-writers, Zoe Kravitz and E.T. Feigenbaum, let the audience have a little bit more of a thought about what was going on and it could think for themselves instead of being told what the movie was going for. It was so close to me from being one of those best movies of the year. And I still think it's a extremely strong movie it's just so frustrating how heavy handed the movie is with its uh, storytelling and messaging. So overall though, I think this is an excellent movie. And I think a lot of people are with the messaging are gonna be a little more harsher than I am and think that it kills the movie. It does not kill my enjoyment. I was on the edge of my seat. It's very intense, very funny as well. And three really dynamic performances in the leading role from Aki, Tatum, um, and Arjona. So overall, I think it's a extremely good directorial debut for Zoe Kravitz. So overall, I'm going to give Blink twice a four out of five stars, 80% for the new film. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.